Hi guys, today I'm reviewing Andre Laurent Sunless Tanning Lotion. Um, I gave this product 1.75 out of 5 stars, so it, I really didn't like much about it. Um, this one comes in a 6.7 ounce bottle and it's a lotion. Um, and it sells for about $40. I got it on Amazon for like $39.95. So that works out to almost $6 an ounce, um, which is a little pricier than average, but not too expensive. Um, the weird thing about this product is I found it online for like a lot of different prices. I saw it for $28, I saw it for $40, I saw it for $65. So their price fluctuates a lot and I don't really know why. Um, another thing I don't like about this product is it has the little PETA cruelty free on here. But when you go to PETA's website and look, their brand isn't on there. So I don't know if they're not cruelty free or if they are. Um, it's a little weird to me that they weren't listed there though and they claim to be cruelty free. Um, so as far as this product, it's a white lotion. It comes out pretty thick, almost like sunscreen. Um, and it feels like sunscreen too. The smell, it smells kind of weird. It smells like some type of food to me. I don't really know what kind of food. Um, and it also smells like sour DHA. So I really didn't like the smell of it at all. Um, as, as it developed, the sour DHA smell stuck, stuck around a bit, but the food smell kind of faded away. Um, putting it on is pretty simple because it is a white lotion, but it takes forever to blend in. So I was literally sitting there for minutes just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, and my whole body was white. <laughs> I hate products like that just because it creates more work than is necessary. It doesn't blend in immediately. You just have to rub and rub until that white goes away and it blends into your skin. But it's not messy because it doesn't have a guide in it. You don't necessarily need to use tanning mitts. Just make sure you wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. The color this one produced, it's just not worth the hassle to me. After I showered the next day, I had a very, very, very light tan. You'll definitely need to apply this one a few days in a row to see any color. It's more of a gradual tanner, and it's, on me it was almost non-existent. So it might be okay for some of you that are super pale or um, very fair to begin with or just looking for a light glow. But for me, it was just not acceptable. I didn't like my tan. I didn't really have a tan. Um, so I'd say it didn't last very long. It lasted maybe a day. Um, I only applied it one time, but I didn't see any color payoff. It didn't fade streaky or anything though, so that was nice. I mean, there wasn't really much tan to fade. <laughs> Men, I don't think you'll like this one. There wasn't much I liked about it. I think there's better tanners out there for your money. Um, so overall, I gave this 1.75 out of 5 stars. And for more information on this self-tanner as well as many others, please visit us online uh, at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.